Hey everyone, it's Adam from the Army Painter again with another video tutorial. Today we're going to be showing off the paints found inside the new Metallic Colors paint set. This is available for pre-order right now, and you'll be able to find it from your friendly local game store on their shelves real soon. Today we're going to be painting up some familiar bad guys, some heretical armor, some traitors. We're going to be painting up some purple armor, some turquoise armor, and some dingy necrotic armor as well. Let's get started with the first model. For this first model, we're gonna be painting up a purplish pink armor. And for that, I started with our color primer purple tone. This is gonna be the perfect base color. Now, I've applied a little bit of our royal purple to my palette, and I'm just gonna apply this in two thin coats all over the armor on this model. Be sure to take your time here and apply a second thin coat so that you don't obscure any of the details on this model. Now that we've got some nice solid coverage of that royal purple, we're going to be moving on to the next color because we are going to work this way up from a purple to a pink. And that next color is going to be Zephyr Pink. And I've loaded up my moderate dry brush from the Masterclass dry brush range. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to stipple this on the top. I'm just very simply going to apply this and I'm going to focus this on the top areas. Now, you can go ahead and dry brush this as well, but I want to start by stippling this just to build out those uppermost areas on the model. On areas like here on the legs, I'm going to work my way from the outside and around like so. And same thing on the back, leaving some of that purple in the recesses. With that purple dry brush applied, I'm going to apply some quick shade purple tone all over the model. I'm going to work from the top of the model and then my way down, allowing this wash to work its way into the recesses of this model. Areas like here on the shoulder pads, I'm just going to start at the top. I'm going to work my brush back and forth because it does have these nice little panels on the shoulder pad. I do want this wash to work its way underneath of there, just like so. With the wash now dried, you can go back and apply a second dry brush. This is just going to help bring out that pink again because the purple does darken the model down a bit. So I'm just using that same moderate dry brush and I'm focusing this in the direction that I'm applying this in against where we have the hard edges. So you can see these greaves on the shoulder pad I'm pulling the bristles upwards towards the edges. And we're just going to catch some of that pink paint on the uppermost areas and very lightly applying this dry brush. Now you could come back and apply more detailed highlights with, say, a detail or a character brush if you want. But this gives a nice, simple effect. For this next model, we're going to go with a turquoise, almost color-shifting armor, very similar to maybe the Alpha Legion, the Alpha and the Omega. So I'm going to start out by applying an all-over base coat of Azure Magic. This is a nice turquoise, almost blue color, one of my favorite colors in this line. I primed the model using Crystal Blue from the Army Painter Color Primer range. And as you can see, it helps to get some nice, smooth coverage because the colors do really pair nicely together. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this Azure Magic all over the model. I've mixed in a little bit of our Glitter Green Metallic with our Azure Magic, and I'm just going to stipple this on the raised areas to really give that chameleon effect to this armor. And you can see how nicely they play together. And when I'm stippling, what I mean by that is I'm just taking the tip of the brush and I'm moving it around, just almost rotating the bristles in my fingers as I apply this. And I want this to be a very light application. I want to keep some of that Azure Magic showing underneath. So going back to my regiment brush and I've got some quick shade blue tone and I'm just going to apply an all over wash of this blue tone over top of that dry brush application of glitter green over top of our Azure Magic. And this really makes the effect stand out. This is where you really begin to see those two colors play really nicely together. 
So we're going to apply this all over the model. It's going to help tie those colors together, but it's also going to work its way into the recesses to bring out the shading and depth on the model, really pick out those details. I'm really loving how this has turned out. Now just to showcase this metallic color effect a little bit better, I'm just gonna block in this shoulder pad here to really help illustrate how it begins to look once you start to base in the rest of your model. Just by applying this base coat, it looks great. Imagine how it's going to look once you wash down the rest of this metallics, once you start painting in the leather pouches. This really helps to frame in that turquoise to green effect that we were able to pull off with Azure Magic and Glitter Green. You could go ahead and apply a fine highlight to the blue armor, but this one doesn't really call for it. It looks great just as it is. For this final Trader Armor tutorial, we're gonna be using another new color. This one's called Tainted Gold. It's a nice greenish gold. So I've got my model here. I've primed this one in Army Green from the Army Painter Color Primer range, and I've just loaded up my Masterclass dry brush with a bit of this Tainted Gold. And much the same as I did in the other tutorials, I'm just going to stipple and kind of apply an overbrush because I'm, I'm not really dry brushing. What I'm using this brush to do is to apply that base tone to the model. So I'm just very carefully gonna go ahead around all of the model and get nice even coverage of this tainted gold. Now I've mixed in some fairy dust with necrotic flesh and I'm gonna apply a stipple in a similar fashion to what I did in the previous tutorial. It's just working from the top down. I just wanna apply this very gently to the uppermost areas of the model leaving some of that tainted gold in the recesses. Now using Military Shader from the Army Painter Quick Shade range, I'm just gonna apply this all over the model and you can see right away how it works its way into those recesses and just picks out the details on the model. This is the perfect wash for this tainted metal that we're going for here. Well, we're not going super in depth and showcasing some extreme highlights and things of that nature in this tutorial. You could always go ahead and apply those. Think of colors like skeleton bone for this one example. Mix that with a bit of the fairy dust to create the perfect metallic highlight that you need. But for right now, I wanna showcase how this model looks at tabletop ready and then just apply a little bit of trim to really get a feel for how the model could look towards the end. So I'm going to Evil Chrome. This is another new one from our metallic colors paint set. I'm just gonna apply this to the trim of the model like so. And you can really begin to see how well these colors play off of each other. We've got a really nice effect just with that simple dry brush and then the wash with those colors. Really loving how this is looking. Well, that's gonna be all for our How to Paint Trader Armor tutorial. You can find all of the paints that we use in today's tutorial and many more in the brand new Metallic Colors paint set. You're gonna be able to find this at your friendly local game store real soon, but it is available for pre-order now. And if you're one of the people that do jump on that pre-order or get one of those early release box sets, be on the lookout because only three boxes have our magic golden ticket. If you do win this golden ticket, you'll find yourself taking home a 22 karat limited edition master class brush. Remember that the magic of miniature painting is that it can be as simple or as challenging as you'd like it to be, but with the right techniques, you're sure to achieve some great results. We'll see you next time.